Welcome back to Bob's Magic Emporium. Very special day today in the 365 Day Magic Challenge. It's day 265. We are 100 days away from completing this Magic Challenge. Thank you guys so much for going on this wonderful ride with me over the past uh, 265 days. We still have much more to go though. So it's still 100 more days of really cool magic to come. Alright, so today's trick is a trick that somebody requested a while back in the challenge. I completely forgot about it. I broke out the DVD a couple days ago. I started watching it and practicing the trick again. We're going to do Chris Ballinger's Donna, Donna, Donna the Shark. Uh, so it's a great little uh, card trick, and it's a really cool kind of card sandwich effect. So I'm going to review it, though, after I perform it. So I have a normal deck of cards here, and I want you to see that the cards are all mixed up, and they're all shuffled up, and they're different. it's a different deck of cards. And if there's a spectator here, they get to choose any card that they want. I would instruct them to pick somewhere kind of in the middle, though, uh, just because I might know the top or bottom cards. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and let's say they choose this one. And for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to show the, I'll, I'll, I'll look at the card too, but normally I wouldn't know the card, four clubs. We're also going to use two cards that I placed on the top. That's another reason why I didn't want uh, you to pick from the top, was to have two cards I set on top here, the two queens. We're going to play a variation of, kind of a variation of Find the Lady. Uh, or a three-card Monty kind of deal. Um, but uh, I'm going to cut the cards. You place your card back on top right there. And I'm going to uh, place the rest of the deck right on top here. And we're going to lose your card somewhere in the deck. But to make sure it really is lost, I'll give the deck a cut. And I'll also give the deck a shuffle. That way I have no idea where your card's at. Now, uh, your card was is not going to be the top card. Your card should be the uh, four clubs. But your, that the three of clubs is not your card. So I'm going to put the three of uh, clubs right here. And what I'm going to do with this three of clubs is I'm going to make like a little three of clubs uh, sandwich. So we're going to place, yeah, we'll do that. So we have two queens, and then the card is kind of sandwiched in the middle there. So what I'm going to do is spread out these cards here so you can see that I have the three of clubs and the two face down queens. All I do is I give this just a little shake like that. And that brings the four clubs up there. That's the four clubs. Let's take a look, and I'll show you the four clubs. You can check everything out. And that is Chris Ballinger's The Shark. This is a really, really cool little um, card trick. It's a sandwich card effect where you sandwich a card in between two cards, and then, boom, you have their card change from the indifferent card that was not theirs to their card. Uh, it looks a lot better if you don't get a... Uh, same suit or even one value off card. It looks better if you get like a, you know, a red heart or something. But um, it, it, that's just the card I chose. I could have, it could have been any card. This is a really cool little card trick and it fools the spectators because, um, you know, they think they know how it's done and then, you know, you end, ki you end kind of clean. I mean, there is a gimmick with the trick uh, where you don't end clean because you ha still have that gimmick, but you can ditch the gimmick and, and uh, you know, do a, a gimmick swap, as I call it, and swap it out for a, uh, a regular uh, card. Um, but the, uh, but the, really the heat is off the gimmick, too, because when people, because when you show the gimmick at the, after the card is switched places, you can show the gimmick and you can, uh, you know, flick the cards and show the cards to show that, you know, there's nothing weird about them. But then you can do a gimmick switch and switch the gimmick out for a real card. Um, the, the cards you're going to get are different. So you might not get the Queen of Clubs, or I'm sorry, the Queen of, Queen of Clubs, oh my gosh. You might not get the Queen of Diamonds um, as your gimmick. Uh, you may get a different color, a, a different card because they're all handmade. And all the cards are handmade. This is a, a, a handmade gimmick. Uh, Ra uh, Chris's, Chris's sister, Rachel, uh, Rachel Ballinger, makes all the gimmicks um, by hand. She makes all of these gimmicks. She makes all the redemption gimmicks. So um, she does a lot. But anyways, so that's why the card may be different. Uh, the trick may be different for you. It might not be the same cards. Um, but anyways... It's still a really cool trick, and it does get good reaction out on the street. I've tried it out on the street. Uh, the original, uh, my original gimmick that came with it actually wore out over time, and I needed to get a new gimmick. I didn't get it for a long time. I got some, forgot I had them, kind of tucked it away. But I'm gonna since somebody requested this, 
I actually tucked this trick away too. I was like, I don't want to do the shark right right yet. I forgot about it. And then I remembered, hey, I want to do the shark at some point. So I broke the DVD back out. But I think I'm going to start putting this back in my uh, street shows. This will be really cool to do out on the street. Uh, but it's a really great little trick. Spectator chooses the card. Sandwich routine. Great little trick. Chris Ballinger uh, put this out. It's actually one of the first tricks Chris Ballinger did put out. Um, so it's kind of it's kind of cool. So that is uh, Chris Ballinger's The Shark. Really cool trick. Hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next Magic Challenge video. We're now less than 100 days away for uh, till the next uh, till the end of the challenge. See you tomorrow, guys.